It's a U-turn on the decriminalization of hard drugs. This amendment will make public drug use illegal in British Columbia. Ottawa must still formally approve the changes, which will still be in place, but give the power to police to enforce stopping drug use in all public places, including hospitals, restaurants, transit, parks and beaches. Drug users will still be legally allowed to possess small amounts of illicit drugs in private residences, including shelters and homeless encampments. Police need the authorities to be able to address this issue, as well as other extraordinary circumstances where someone's safety may be at risk. Uh, that should have been in place. We do not support putting people in jail simply because they have a substance use disorder. Under the new amendments, police can get a person to leave a public area when possessing or using and have the right to seize the drugs or arrest the person if they're not complying. These changes are going to hit hard for people who don't have choices, people who don't have housing, don't have access to services and don't have access to care or safer consumption spaces. Enforcement will be beefed up to stop drug dealers operating in and around hospitals, while patients checking into a healthcare facility will be asked if they are experiencing substance use challenges. Experts will work with the province to develop methods to track prescribed alternatives to prevent diversion. People are using in public uh, because they don't really have a choice. Um, so those people are going to get driven back into the alleys. East United raised many stories of families worried about going to parks because of open drug use, and mayors questioned whether decriminalization was even working. In my inbox, is there, you know, there's not a, you know, like a statement in there, well, what are you going to do about the open drug use? Well, we don't have any power to do that. Now the police have more tools in their toolbox to do something like that. Well, I think it's damage control, clearly, to try and deal with the the chaos and the explosion of open drug use that's taken place since they came forward with this reckless decriminalization program from 15 months ago. The courts have already stopped the province from banning drug use in public places, but the province has more confidence this time around, saying with these changes a judge would have to rule the entire Federal Controlled Drug and Substances Act is unconstitutional. Richard Zuspin, Global News, Victoria. And Keith Baldry joins us now with more on how this will impact hospitals. Uh, Keith, a lot of people were shocked at what was going on in there uh, in hospitals in B.C. Let's go mm -hmm. over what's changing. Yeah, and even Premier David Eby today was asked what, what really drove this change. And he pointed out the sudden emergence of drug use in hospitals caught everyone off guard. And that was one of the big reasons why today we saw the backtrack. So uh, hospitals get most of the attention in today's announcement. Seven different actions, well, more than a half dozen actions specifically targeted at hospitals. Here's a list of them. First of all, uh, the possession, use and purchase of drugs are banned on site. And that wasn't the case before. More addiction support during stays, during patient stays in hospitals. In-person addiction specialists now in rural and regional hospitals, additional security if that's required, and more access and better access to protective equipment for staff, notably frontline health care workers. Uh, health Minister Adrian Dix addressing the sensitive issue of security in hospitals as a result of drug use we've seen there in the past. Here's the minister. Hospitals need to be safe for all patients. Hospitals need to be safe for all staff. And it is critical also to ensure that, to ensure that we retain and we have the healthcare professionals we need in the future, while focusing on the specific needs of patients. And that's precisely what we're putting in place. So it's not clear again when Health Canada will grant this broader exemption or when some of these measures in hospitals will be in place. But I can tell you the ban on possessing, using and purchasing dr illicit drugs in hospitals takes effect this weekend. All right. Thanks for that. Keith Baldry in Victoria.